Tag Team Champions with oh. CCW. Get things started off right here. Jumps right in. It looks like this one's a singles matchup between Roadkill and Misfit Malachi. This isn't a matchup, it's a street fight. <laughs> We haven't even had a bell yet. I guarantee you, Malachi hears the bell ringing. Getting his bell rung on that ring post. Tim the Ref trying to establish order in this one, but these two just fierce competitors. Beautiful suplex from Jordan Roadkill Whitaker. Nicely done, DDT. Bouncing off the ropes. One, two. That springboard DDT is devastating. It absolutely is in the hands of someone like Jordan Whitaker. Roadkill, pulverizing Malachi in the corner. Ooh! Nice cross body. Looks like Roadkill Whitaker got whiplash on that. Yeah, probably got the breath knocked out of him, too. You see he's slow to get to his feet. He, it may have winded him there. That is a, uh, a disorienting feeling when you're in that ring and your wind gets knocked out of him, man. I've been there, and it is not a pleasant feeling. Malachi trying to wear down. Roadkill. You really don't have to wear down Roadkill. It's all you did. You just scrape it off the ground. And... Oh, right. Him. Yeah, that's right. Well, at this rate, you may have to scrape him up off the mat. Misfit Malachi in control. This is a lose-lose situation for Roadkill Whitaker. What, what makes you say that? Malachi and the Church of the Misfits aren't employed by the company. They're not part of the company. So a win is completely meaningless. It doesn't go on their record. It doesn't advance them back towards the titles. They're not part of the company. Yeah, there's not even a, a purse for the winner tonight in this one. The only thing that literally Malachi wins no matter what by making a point, by making a statement out of Roadkill Whitaker. Sometimes I hate it when you're right. It's like twice tonight already. I know, right? I'm slow, usually several more times by now. Malachi in control, one, two. Not enough to put away roadkill. Roadkill reaching deep. Malachi shuts it down. This Ben Malachi is a very disturbed man. Indoctrinated in these Church of the Misfits. 
This misfit is known for not showing any mercy. They're having just raw power. And there's a lot of talent there too. Roadkill could really use his tag team partner, CCW, right about now. Roadkill looks like he's in trouble. Now getting the life choked out of him in the ropes. Come on, ref, get in there. You want Tim the ref to get the life choked out of him in the ropes too? Well, no, that's not that's not what I'm saying at all. Sounds like what you were saying. That's probably I mean, what, cool, yeah, come on, ref, get in there. Probably what you were thinking. Pump handle suplex and a cover. That was clearly three. Clearly you can't count. I can count one, two, three, see? I watched not just Sesame Street, but the electric company too. <laughs> Oh, Malachi just tossing roadkill around, bouncing off the mat like a basketball. Roadkill's in trouble here. He's going to have to, well, it's easy to say he needs to do a different strategy here. Not, not so easy to execute. I'm sure he knows he's got to try something different, but what can he do? To overcome Malachi here. Malachi just dominating this one. Oh, and that's how you do it, roadkill style. That adrenaline kicking in. Well, you'll need some anger management classes. Looks like he's managing it pretty well right now. Malachi on the top rope. Close line. Malachi going for the cover now. One, two. Just a two count. Now both of them be just beating up Roadkill Whitaker. Look at that. Oh. Told you. Anger management classes. Fire being let under. Jordan Roadkill Whitaker catches Malachi midair. All away slam. Gips up and ready for the pin. One, two. Just a two count. Each passing pinfall is that much closer to a solid three count. Roadkill now going up top. Looking to go high risk for a big payoff. Can he do it? Malachi on his feet. Oh! Missile drop kick connects. This no. has got to be it. Again, another two count here. Malachi is proving very resilient. Well, you expect him to be being part of the Church of the Misfits. Oh! <laughs> Violent collision. Oh, Roadkill. Great ring awareness. 
able to grab that bottom rope. Come on, ref, get him away from those ropes. It's not the ref's job to get him away from the ropes. He just counts him where the pinfall occurs. If he wasn't next to the ropes, he wouldn't have been able to cheat like that. Oh, escapes the tombstone and reverses it. Reverse tombstone. Oh. Oh. Wow. I knew he kicked out. No, you didn't. It's a miracle he kicked out of that move. Roadkill. Poised to strike, but Misfit Josiah interfering from the outside. Buys his partner just enough time. Good teamwork. Go team. No team. This is not a team match. Tombstone now from Malachi delivered. Two and three, that's it. No winner of this match, Miss Ben Malachi. You're watching WWA Amplified. Hope you're enjoying some classic matches from WWA's past. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss any WWA action. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WWA is now. Event info, news, and more can be found on our Facebook page, World Wrestling Alliance. Trying to catch the monster off guard and does so. That was an incredibly smart move by Logan Abel. He's one of the smartest guys in the ring. Sometimes he's almost like a, like a chess match. He tries to stay two or three moves ahead of his opponent. Seth Latouf, the new bodyguard of Alexander Knight. I hate to say it, but whatever Alexander Knight's paying him, I'm sure he's worth it. I'm sure it's not cheap. Even if he's paying him in food, it's not cheap. And here comes the monster. Oh! oh! Like a Toronto snowplow. Just barrels right into him. Got a section of the fans cheering for Cortland, chanting his name, trying to get in the head of Alexander Knight. Now that's something I never thought I'd ever see. Oh! Alexander Knight just plants Logan Abel's head in the mat like a javelin. If this is a handicap match, then... It's... Loss for words. Well, I'll tell you that they call it a handicap match because it's two on one, not because someone leaves handicap, but that could be the case tonight. syrup you make pancakes and 
Oh, low bridge and... A lot of momentum there. The weight of Seth LeDuc just bounces him and carries him over the top rope. And out goes the Cavalier Puffeteer as well. All oh, the, the film crew getting in the way. Logan Abel, who is likely the, the most gifted martial arts athlete in the WWE. Absolutely, he's got such quick fists and kicks. With this two-on-one situation, they, it looks like they, they may be able to effectively just tire him out. backdrop and here we have the tag and this is coming out of the frying pan and into the sun for Logan Abel. Run. Run Logan Abel. If you can. Ho oh! ho! Quick thinking by Logan Abel saves the day. And Logan Abel using those quick karate kicks to take down the tree. Trying to knock all the sap out of the Maple Leaf Monster. Tim the ref has just given up. He's not even going to try. Now Seth Leduc just manhandles Logan Abel. Going for the cover. One, two. Logan Abel reaching deep. Logan Abel is one of those competitors that has an unbreakable spirit. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah his spirit may not be breakable, but the rest of him is. Well, these two will certainly see to it that they'll snap any bone they can if they get an opportunity. Uh oh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, wow. Alexander Knight seems to plant that shoulder squarely into Logan Abel, goes for the cover. Near fall. Even Tim the ref looks horrified. Can you, imagine, looks can you imagine what's going through the mind of Logan Abel right now? Um, yeah. The, the arm of Alexander Knight. Looks like Alexander Knight's going to try and set him up for a dangerous maneuver here. Alexander Knight's a, a scumbag, but he's a formidable foe. Yeah, on his own. Right. <laughs> Seth LeDuc, that's like... You, you always hear the expression about, you know, a knife at a gunfight. This is like having a, having a gun and a drone against a knife right. in a fight.
Oh, by the way, I brought this tank to this fight. Good luck. I mean, you asked the question, I answered it with the arm of Alexander Knight, but I think it's a good question. What is going through the mind of Logan Abel? What do you do? What do you think in this situation other than just, ah! Other than just, what? Oh! This plan backfires here. Backfires big time. This is a huge opportunity for Logan Abel to try to do something. And I think that something needs to be run out of the building. Instead, he's going to fight because of that unbreakable spirit you mentioned earlier. Here we go, on up top. Nails it. Giant double stomp off the top rope. One, two, three. He gets him. Holy cow. Somehow, some way. Are you kidding me? What an impressive showing from this talented young man, oh, Logan no. Abel. No, 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 no. Uh oh. No, no. Uh oh. Oh, he just made the monster mad. Oh, he looks really mad. And now, without without anybody to get in his way. Oh no! Oh! This psychopath! What a horrifying beast! Somebody get a medic in there. Somebody stop this. Somebody get an army in there. What do you mean a medic? Body Classic and Tim the Ref trying to calm the Raging Beast. Well, he's got more strength than a caribou. You got to think Tim the Ref is going to be in ecstasy just to get out of this match. That is a gigantic boot. And it connected squarely to the face of Logan Abel. I don't even know what size boot that is. Do they have the same size shoes in Canada? Is it like the money? It's a little bit different, but close. What's that a boot? <laughs> oh, no. Oh! Oh, no. You have to excuse my colleague here. <laughs> hey, free prize to the people in the front row. Some of the guts of Logan Abel. Gee whiz. You know, that, that could... That could easily break a sternum, especially with the strength of Seth Leduc. Seth Leduc trying to turn Logan Abel into a can of easy cheese. We got to get him some help in there. Oh, and if he needed any help, Seth Leduc with a steel chair. Oh, he's about to light him up like a pinata. If Seth Leduc hits Logan Abel with a steel chair, I'm gonna poo. No, don't do this. You don't need to do this, Seth. Does anyone have a tranquilizer dart? For an elephant? Oh! Logan Abel's finished. I mean, we could be looking at a, a career-ending injury here. Between that shot on the ring post and now being slammed with all that momentum and weight behind that landing on the chair. Seth LaDuke satiated for now. Need high-quality pro wrestling gear at a great price? Look no further than Power Trip Pro Wrestling Gear. Each piece is handcrafted with the greatest care and quality possible. 
They even do a lot of gear seen on WWA Hysteria. For quotes, examples of work, and more, head over to facebook.com slash powertripbwgear. He has now got the title back. Once again, this match is for the WWA National Heavyweight Championship. Introducing a company to ringside by Dakota France and superstar Ray Waddell. Representing the system, this is your number one contender, Lucas Tyler! And his opponent this evening, he is your current reigning WWA National Heavyweight Champion, Abyssbo! So we got a little more clarity now on who our uh, challenger is. It's going to be Lucas Tyler. And that bell's got our match underway. to a fast pace in this one. Lucas Tyler was not expecting that. This one should give him a little more time to repair. Oh, please. Right? Tyler's still not ready. Crafty Avispo. Thought he had a trick up his sleeve, but Lucas Tyler got the better of him on that exchange. Oh. There we go. Now he's ready. So he just had to wait till Lucas Tyler was ready. Wrestler's favorite wrestler, superstar Ray Waddell and the wise Dakota France, ringside. Meanwhile, Lucas Tyler got that lion tamer applied. Lucas Tyler has Tremendous depth in his repertoire of moves. Oh no. Something's wrong with Lucas Tyler. He's hurt. Oh, come on. System getting a cheap shot on the Vispo on the outside. Now, now Ray Waddell's got, got that ring gear of a Vispo on. Take a good look at Ray Waddell, ladies and gentlemen, because he uh, he may not look the same after tonight's main event.
Lucas Tyler adding insult to injury. Apologize, we're having some technical difficulties. Rowdy fan throwing water all over the place. Obispo. Slowly watching the, his belt slip away. Here soon this will be Lucas Tyler's. Well that remains to be seen. Whoa! What a maneuver from Lucas Tyler. I've never seen that before in my life. I have to say, I haven't either. It seems like that's a, that's a statement that gets made every time Lucas Tyler has a match here. He is an innovator for sure. We see him pull something out that we've never seen him do before, and a move like that I've never seen, period. I've never seen anyone do that before. And this is why everyone in the locker room looks up to him. Now, I don't think I'd go that far, but... He's an inspiration to the WWA locker room. German suplex. We'll make that a rolling German suplex. A trifecta of German suplexes from Lucas Tyler on the national champion of ISPO. I'm gonna change your name to Mitch for the following joke. Suplex City, Mitch. It's a friendly, family-friendly show. I, I had to change it. <laughs> Seems like Lucas Tyler is the uh, the mayor of Suplex City tonight, or at least has been handed the key to the city. Successful with the sharpshooter. Trying to send a message to Dakota France there. Right you are, Mitch. Would you stop calling me Mitch. Sorry, right, what's your name now? So helpful suggestions for the crowd. Tyler narrowly avoiding a big flying kick by a Vespo. Pointing out where the after party's at, apparently. If he makes it to it, Obispo. 
Oh! Incredible Vince. strength from Avispo. A giant buckle bomb. That's got a sting. Tyler back to his feet and a curb stomp. That's gonna do it right here. One, two, and whoa. <laughs> the Duco sure is plucky. Central City fans, not fans of the system. You have to work within the system, though. Oh! Swing and a miss in stereo. Quick thinking from the champion, and Abispo hangs on to that title with all the odds stacked against him here. What a dirty finish. How is that a dirty finish, Lyle? I can say it, you can say it, I can say it too. Well, when I say it, it's true. Just because you say it's a dirty finish doesn't mean it's a dirty finish. Look, it's a dirty finish. He did it fair and square. That was a clean pin, one, two, three. Or uno, dos, tres, if you prefer. Think you're so special with your multilingualness of accuracy. Man. 